Do you want to create a beautiful home for the holidays without spending a lot of money? Well, in today's video, I'll begin decorating my own home for Christmas. And this year, I am more determined than ever to create inexpensive but lovely home decor. So I'll be sharing my top 10 budget-friendly holiday decorating ideas. Some of them are super cheap and some of them are absolutely free. But before we begin, let me tell you about the holiday themes that I've selected this year. In a recent poll, 60% of you favored a woodland theme, but many of you suggested that I do all three, and so I thought, why not? I'll be combining woodland elements with tartan plaids on my green tree, for what I'm calling a Scottish woodland theme. And after a viewer recommendation, I'll be combining whites, silvers, and blues on my white tree for a frozen lake theme. One of the cheapest ways to decorate for Christmas is to use free items from your yard. I added several natural branches to my woodland themed green tree. To give a snowy effect to some other branches and also to some pine cones, I sprayed them with wall texture. I ran some florist wire around the pine cones and then attached them to the branches in my green tree. But I decided to add the snowy sticks to my frozen lake themed white tree. Another budget-friendly idea for Christmas decor is to repurpose old wreaths and garlands into something new. I added some fake snow into a large glass bowl that I had, and then I began cutting apart an old wreath that I knew I would not be using this year. I decided to use the center of the wreath as a bird's nest. I also added some stems from a thrift store Christmas tree that I purchased three years ago, and I am still using pieces from it. I filled in the center of the little grapevine wreath with some Spanish moss and then added a fake bird that came in a package of Christmas ornaments. I added a few more stems and berries from my wreath and then sprinkled on a little fake snow. You may have noticed that I didn't glue anything together, so I can take all the pieces apart at the end of the season for easy storage, and then I can use them for something different next year. A couple years ago, I bought several fake potted white poinsettia plants from Goodwill. I cut them apart, tied some pretty bows to the stem, and I've been using them on my white tree ever since. To make a small potted Christmas tree, I cut two branches off of that old thrift store Christmas tree I was telling you about. I took one branch and lined it up with the other branch about six inches from the top, and then I used florist wire to attach the two together in several different spots. I fluffed out and trimmed some of the branches to create more of a tree shape. And then I hot glued the trimmings into the center of the tree to give it a fuller look. Once I was happy with the shape, I just stuck it in a piece of styrofoam inside a small wicker basket. I filled in the rest of the basket with some packing styrofoam and a little fake snow. Some of the branches already had pine cones attached, but I hot glued on a few more. Then I covered the top of the branches with some spray adhesive and sprinkled on some fake snow. I wrapped it in some twinkle lights and stuck it inside a 1990s light fixture that I had previously thrifted and disassembled. I forgot to take a picture, but it looks really pretty at night, too. Another budget-friendly idea is to think of new ways to use your existing decor. For example, I had been using both the light fixture and the glass bowl on my patio, and I had been using this former chandelier cage as a fern stand. 
I took a piece of rope and ran it through the hole at the top of an old lantern so that I could hang it from an S-hook inside the chandelier cage. I added fake greenery around the base of the lantern. All of these stems came out of old wreaths and garlands, including the wreath that I used earlier in this video. The lantern that I used was an old outdoor electric light and there was no way to get a candle inside and so I glued a magnet to the bottom of a fake bird and put that in the center of the floral arrangement instead. I think it looks really pretty on my front porch. Most of you know I am a huge advocate of buying used whenever you can and repurposing what you already have. Even so, I find myself throwing away a lot of plastic bottles. So recently, I made a few eco-friendly changes. And one of those changes was to start using Blue Land cleaning supplies. I first saw Blue Land on Shark Tank and I immediately fell in love with their refillable cleaners and no single-use plastic. Blue Land is not only good for the environment, but it's also good for your pocketbook. The replacement tablets only cost $2.25 each, much cheaper than most cleaning supplies. Just fill your forever bottle with warm water, drop in one of the tablets and wait for it to dissolve. Reattach the nozzle and you're ready to start cleaning. You might be wondering how well these products clean. Well, I can honestly say they do a fantastic job. I love the all-purpose cleaner for my kitchen. I use it on my wood island, on my granite countertops, and even on my stainless steel appliances and sink. And right now, Blue Land is having their best sale of the year. Just click my link below to get up to 20% off your first order. Another budget-friendly idea is to use non-seasonal decor mixed in with your Christmas decorations. I've used small wood birdhouses in my trees for years. I also like to add hooks to decorative orbs like those that come in bags of potpourri and hang those on my trees. Even a small summery watering pail can look like holiday decor by adding seasonal greenery, a few pine cones, and something to hang it from the tree. Because I used things that I already had, this little ornament was absolutely free. I had purchased these two ceramic owls at Dollar Tree well over a year ago and I decided to use them on my woodland-themed tree and turn them into ornaments, too. I drilled a small hole in the top of each owl using a drill bit specifically made for ceramics. Then I ran some twine through the hole and knotted it on the underside to create a hanger. To make it look a little more special, I hot glued a small piece of driftwood to the bottom of the owl. Then I embellished the branch with a little greenery and some small berries and pine cones. You could also paint the owls with chalk paint in white or another color to coordinate with your Christmas decor. Are you like me and already have plenty of ornaments but not in the colors that you like this year? Well, here are some ideas for updating those old ball ornaments. You could spray paint them white and then tear apart the plies of a paper napkin and using just the top pattern ply, cut out different designs to decoupage onto the balls. Apply Mod Podge to the ornament and then carefully adhere the different pieces of patterned napkin going over the top with your paintbrush dipped in more Mod Podge. If you like a more sparkly look, sprinkle on some iridescent glitter while the Mod Podge is still wet. 
if you don't want to take the time to cut the designs out from your napkin, you could just cut the napkin into small skinny strips and then use Mod Podge to adhere the strips to your ornament in the same way. I really liked how both of these ornaments turned out. I made a third ball using the images from an Easter napkin. Unfortunately, it fell and broke, so I highly recommend using plastic ornaments for this project. Here's another option, especially if you like that woodland aesthetic. Use hot glue to attach small pieces of sheet moss over the entire surface of a ball ornament. You might want to spray your ornaments green first, just in case a little bit of the ornament shows through. For a little pop of color, I glued on some red glittery styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree and then tied on a red hanger and bow. I love the texture that this ornament adds to my tree, and I think it fits my woodland theme perfectly. For a different look, I covered a second ornament with light brown reindeer moss. I covered just the top half of the ornament with spray adhesive and then sprinkled on some fake snow. I also hot glued some styrofoam snowballs in various sizes to the top of the ball. To add a little color, I hot glued on a couple sprigs of fake greenery. I really liked the green moss ball, but this one I'm not so sure about. But it definitely has that woodland vibe. Here's another idea for repurposing those old ball ornaments. Paint them using Modern Masters Rust Effects Paint. I brushed on two coats of the orange primer and then followed that with two coats of the iron paint. When the iron paint was dry, I spritzed the ornaments with the rust activator spray, let it dry for five minutes, and then spritzed them a second time. I was a little disappointed with how these turned out, so I tied a decorative key to them to make them a little more interesting. Okay, this is the last idea for repurposing old ball ornaments, I promise. I needed more blue ornaments for my frozen lake themed white tree, so I spray painted several old ornaments with some blue spray paint that I had on hand. When the paint was dry, I covered each ball with Elmer's glue and then sprinkled on a variety of different colors of glitter. When the glue is dry, I recommend spraying them with a clear glossy top coat to avoid the glitter rubbing off and shedding all over your tree. For budget-friendly decor, shop your local thrift stores. Here are some of the very inexpensive ornaments that I have picked up in just the last few weeks. Sometimes you get lucky and find beautiful vintage and one-of-a-kind ornaments. And keep an eye out for other small items that could be placed in your tree. How perfect is this little framed print of mother and child? I even hung these Courier and Ive coasters in my green tree. And if you find a small but special ornament, think of ways that you can make it stand out in your tree. I painted and distressed a wood round so that I could attach a small embroidered ornament to it so that it would not get lost in my tree. The one thing that I will buy new every year is ribbon. It's very inexpensive and it can really make old decor seem new and fresh. I did find a roll of tartan plaid ribbon to use on the green tree but I purchased two rolls of blue velvet ribbon from Hobby Lobby to use on the white tree. I like to tie my ribbons to the sticks or other items that I add to the tree rather than to the tree itself. I think this gives it a more natural look and it also saves time at the end of the season when you're packing the tree away.
And what kind of DIY channel would this be if I didn't recommend making your own ornaments and decor? Here are just a few of the Christmas items that I have DIY'd in recent videos. I'll be sure to link those videos in the description box below in case you would like to watch the full tutorial. Using Christmas cards is another lovely and inexpensive way to decorate your home. Hang them on their own or from greenery that is draped around a doorway, a stairwell banister, or a bookcase. Hang them from ribbon attached to your kitchen cabinets or a wall. For a more vintage look, tuck them in an old shutter, window frame, or ladder. Or for a modern look, hang them from strings stretched across a hula hoop. Or for a rustic look, hang them from branches or eucalyptus stems. Since food is such an integral part of the holidays, why not use food as part of your decor? I love the idea of a beautiful hot cocoa bar and colorful candies stored in glass jars. I also love colorful and humorous food displays for special gatherings. I don't know about you, but I always feel like I'm never done decorating my Christmas trees. But I hope you'll let me know what you think of them so far. And I would especially like to know which theme tree was your favorite, the Scottish woodland or the frozen lake? Thank you so very much for watching today, and if you need more holiday ideas, I've linked my entire Christmas playlist.